Okay, I was asked to demonstrate the functionality of when you click on an object that in the center of the screen you get a zoom of the object. So this is typical in say adventure games where maybe you click something, click on a file that's on a desk and in the center of the screen you get a close-up of it. So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can actually have the image redrawn and then just make it appear in the center of the screen. I'm not going to go through that because that's pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to do a more complicated version because it has many different applications. And that is, we're going to demonstrate how to have multiple cameras. So when you create a new 2D environment, this is what you see. It has a camera. I just dragged and dropped these two images from an external folder. So let's drag and drop these into the scene. The first one is going to be order in layer 0. We're going to put in the cat and put the cat at order in layer 1. So it will always be on top. Just put them in the corner for kicks and giggles. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a component to the cat, Physics 2D, Box Collider. Now, there's some extra space around the cat, but we're not worried about being super accurate. We just want to demonstrate the basic functionality. So, put a check where it says Trigger, because we need this to be triggered to be clickable. And now we're going to add a second camera. So game object, camera, we'll call this zoom cam. Now you're going to look at a couple settings that you don't normally have to mess with. And that is the viewpoint rectangle, 0, 0. So it starts lower left corner here, 0, 0. And it's exactly one screen wide and one screen high. So what we want is we don't want it to be at zero, zero, because we don't want it to be in the lower left corner. Maybe you could do that for like a mini map or something. But if you just want to zoom in an object and you really want it to be in the center, you have to uh, therefore make uh, the left, you have to uh, move the left border in and you have to move the bottom border up. And it's going to be a little bit of trial and error. And you have to reduce the width and the height. That's only part of it, so let's do that first. So let's make this say 0.4, and make this 0.4, and make this 0.25, so a quarter of the screen, and 0.25. And you've got a preview down here. So that gives you your picture in a picture. It's not going to be right, but let's run it so you can see what that does. Okay, so here you have your uh, second image, your second camera. But it's really just the opposite of what you want. It's really, because it's taken the whole image and compressed it in, it's really not zoomed. So to zoom it, you really need to change another setting, and that's this, the field of view. Watch what happens as I reduce the field of view. Now you're zooming in. Okay. So let's run that. So now it's about mm, slightly smaller, but it's getting there. Now, for the moment, I'm going to move the camera just so it stays focused on the cat. So. Let's do, yeah, I guess, negative 1.5 for the moment. All right, there we go. That's good. And we'll lower this a bit. Now we're going to continue to zoom in with this field of view. So now you can see you've really zoomed in, okay? So now it's just finding the happy medium. And unfortunately, you always have the preview here while you have the, while you're changing the camera. So there you go. It's not a huge increase, but that's again the part of it is because I chose such a small window. So that makes it a little bit challenging. So let's make it a little bit bigger.
So let's make it 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then we probably need to change the viewpoint, the viewport uh, location. So let's make this 0 0.3 and 0 0.3, and we'll run it again. There you go. So now you got a really big zoom in. But the problem is this happens by uh, default. And that is it's automatically like that. So we need to trigger this functionality and not just have it happen automatically. Also, if we want to zoom just in on the cat, probably doesn't need to be quite so wide. So let's see how point four looks. That looks better. All right, so now let's what we need to do is we need to have information be transferred from the cat when you click on it to the camera so that the camera knows to zoom in. So let's by default have this camera be disabled. So right click, create C sharp, and we'll call it zoom cam. We'll click on the zoom cam. Typically I try to avoid using exactly the same name uh, particularly when it comes to the name of an object um, and the name of a variable, uh, as well as the name of a script. But in this case, we're okay. It's not going to be that complex, so we don't really have to worry about any confusion. So let's go into Zoom Cam. And in the Start section, we want to disable the camera. So get component. These parts of the object are called components. That's why it's called add component. So these are components. What component? Well, we want the camera component. What attribute? Whether or not it's enabled, and we're going to set it to false. We're going to save that. And now when the uh, object is created at the start, it will be not enabled. There you go. So now it's gone. So now what we need to do is now we need to have the click on the cat trigger the camera. So uh, probably the simplest way is just to use a static variable. So a, vari a static variable is a variable that's accessible to any object, any script, anywhere in the application. So create C sharp and we'll call this cat control so we're going to click on the cat put on cat control and in cat control what we're going to do is we're going to first create a static variable And don't mind the other scripts up here for there for another project. The only two that matter are cat control and zoom control. So cat control, zoom control, we'll get rid of those two. So public, static, and it's a string. Call it zoom active equals no or n by default it is not active because we said it's um, it's uh, not enabled so since this variable is going to um, line up with this and be synchronized with this we need it to match now we're going to, we're not making a full game here, we're just doing this one functionality, so you're going to have to kind of uh, work with this a little bit to fit it into your application. So, void on mouse down 
This is a predefined routine, so it's case sensitive, capital O, M, D, on, mouse, down. Zoom active, that variable we just created is equal to Y. And very simple, we go back to zoom cam in the update section. If, since it's a static variable, we have to say where that static variable is declared, it's in cat control. Dot zoom active equals equals Y. So if that is true, then we're going to take this and do the opposite. And we're going to make it true. So get component, what component? The camera. Okay, what about the camera? We want to change whether or not it's enabled. We're going to set it to true. So if I haven't missed anything, that should do it. So there's our room, there's our cat. We don't see the other camera. We click on the cat and there's your zoom in of the cat. So what you do is you'd also add like a frame. Um, so you would add like a, a, um, some kind of a, a PNG or whatever image type you're using, whatever file type you're using. That way it doesn't just look, um, right now it looks kind of broken. That's because you don't have a border. It'd be easy enough to add a border. Now, the only problem with this is that it's fixed on just the cat. So what you'd have to do is you would also have to change the X, Y coordinates of the camera. So what would happen is each object would have its own script or you have one script that has all the objects uh, considered. And based on the name of the object, you wouldn't just say, zoom active yes you'd also say and based on the name of the object you'd have such and such x y coordinates for the camera that way the camera is focusing on the right object so i think that should be able to do it uh, kind of brief but it was a very specific request for a very specific functionality so you might have to tweak it a little bit to get it into your application if you want i can do a follow-up like i said you can add like a frame things like that, but that is the basics of how you add um, a clickable zoom to an object.